Welcome back, Keeper. So anyone who's familiar with Dungeon Keeper, uh, if you ask them, you know, write down your, your top, five, top five favorite things from the game, I almost guarantee one of the things they're going to call it is Horny and the voice of Horny. You finally returned, Keeper. <laughs> that's 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 wonderful to be associated with a you know with a with a with a game as popular as this, and 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 as naughty as this as well. Actually, how did I originally get involved with the with, with the very original Dungeon Keeper game? I think the first one was made by Bullfrog, if I remember rightly, and um, yeah, I just rang up and said, "Do you fancy doing it?" and tell me about about it, and I. Uh, and I thought about it for a nanosecond and said, yes, <laughs> that's right up my street, you know. Before we, before I knew it, we were doing Dungeon Keeper 2. And, you know, it, it grew in size and got even more devilish and naughty. <laughs> yeah, and hearing that they were going to make a, um, a, an application for the mobile devices, you know, for, for iPads and what, what have you, just so delighted. We were very deliberate in how we ended up directing him because, uh, you know, if you look at like Dungeon Keeper 1, that delivery was very dry and flat. And, uh, you know, it fit with the game at the time, but when we wanted to bring Dungeon Keeper to mobile, you kind of look at the art and the feel and the theme of the game, and it's more, it's less dark and gothic and more devilishly funny. And that's what I think makes the game unique and fun. So when it came to doing Horny's voice, we were very, very careful in that we didn't want it to be that same sort of flat delivery. We wanted instead to give him the ability to emote on many different levels so that the personality of Horny ultimately comes out. We've recorded over 500 lines of dialogue, which is just immense, almost overkill for a mobile game, but it's just so much fun to listen to it and to hear that character come through, whether or not he's uh, you know, complimenting you, encouraging you. A glorious victory, Keeper! Or just being derisive and dismissive and sarcastic. Perhaps your imps should be the ones slapping you, Keeper. It's just part of the game that I'm, I'm probably most proud of is the, the work that Richard did, and it was just so thrilling to be there working with him, um, you know, but uh, it was absolutely an amazing experience and something I'm definitely looking forward to again. What's it been like working on Dungeon Keeper again, it's just it's just a breath of fresh air. You know, license to be bad. It I think the word delicious just keeps coming up because because the scripts are just great. <laughs> They're such fun, you know. You know, our script writing process was actually really unique. I think it contributed to why it sounded so good and why Richard had so much fun with it, because uh, it was actually not just one person writing it. We had a lot of people contributing to it. And uh, it was people that were playing the game constantly. So like myself, the creative director, the producer, the community manager, and uh, one of our uh, audio designers all contributed lines to it. And that sort of group collaborative effort really, I think, ultimately made Horny who he is now. Uh, it wasn't just through the lens of one person and one person's experience, but it was instead this overall feel of what the game ultimately was supposed to be. And uh, since it went through so many revisions and through so, so many different people, I think it really allowed Horny to be have that range of character and that range of tone that I think makes that narrative voice in our game so outstanding. We just had a brilliant one a minute ago. Um, how did it go? It was, I, 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 I think Maniac's a bit harsh. I much prefer Hermicidal Enthusiast. It's too great, you know, just those throwaway bits of, uh, bits of magic. I mean, I think one of the reasons Dungeon Keeper is so, so um, popular is that it arrived at a time when there was a lot of this PC health and safety, you know, kind of good, goody goodiness being rammed down our throats in society. And here, in this game, you had license to misbehave and be really bad. <laughs> Do I play games at all? I mean, I, I, I would be, but I, I am well aware of the fact that I have a very addictive personality, so I've managed to go, don't know. It becoming ever more difficult with, with the iPhone than with the iPad, because there's just so much, so much available. The, the gaming industry is huge now, isn't it? It's 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 quite amazing where we've gone in, in the space of 10, 15, 20 years. Uh, and it's great because there's, there's, there's such a forum for people getting their imaginations out there. 
and and now there is going to be a mobile app. It's great news. I know there's a there's a, there's a huge army of of fans for Dungeon Keeper who are going to be delighted when when this comes out. <laughs>